So seizures by far and away the most common sign of enemy in pugs. And sometimes these seizures are very obvious, but we'll call them generalized or grand mal seizures where they're unconscious, their limbs are obviously shaking, they may or may not urinate or defecate. But a lot of these uh, seizures can also be partial seizures or petite mal. And the tricky thing with that is a lot of owners might not recognize that their pugs are having seizures and they might be having a lot of partial seizures initially before they develop the generalized seizures. And so the partial seizures commonly might just be a little bit of facial twitching, limb twitching, drooling. So sometimes when we quiz owners looking back, they'll have noticed some of those things happening before they notice the more obvious generalized seizure. Other symptoms we see commonly, behavior change, lethargy, sometimes they're sleeping more than usual. Sometimes they'll have reduced visual processing. So sometimes that's hard for owners to notice, but when they do notice things, They might say that they're bumping into things more on one side, or they might be not noticing parts of their visual field on one side more than the other. Commonly, they'll circle as well. And so if they have inflammation more on one side of the brain, they'll tend to ignore that opposite side of their world, and they'll tend to circle towards the area where they have more inflammation or necrosis. And then also, they can commonly have reduced paw placement on exams. Sometimes they can have some degrees of weakness or incoordination, depending on how much pressure is increased inside the brain. Even if all the pugs came in like quote unquote normal, in the ones that we saw those menace deficits on exam, so that was six of them. When I asked the owners after the fact, have you seen anything? They had seen stuff, they just didn't know what they were seeing. And so one of the owners had noted that she had the sibling of the pug that they would, she would try to toss treats for him and he wasn't able to catch it as well as his sister would. She didn't think anything of it. But then after treatment, that all got significantly better. There was another pug where the owner felt like he would get much closer to things on one side than the other after I asked her, and that got much better after treatment. And then another one had been into the vet twice in the previous year for like scratching her eye. Well, I think she scratched her eye because she bumped her eye because she couldn't see, you know, as well. And so those things kind of all came out after the fact, which was really interesting. 